Alan, uh, congratulations on <laughs> stepping in as a coach. How are you feeling coming into this game? Oh, feeling good. Uh, the, the feelings you have are all about uh, what we've done and what we're trying to achieve from a team perspective. So in terms of my personal feelings, it's it's pretty similar really. We're, we've, we've been playing some pretty good footy. We know we've got an enormous challenge against a team that is really desperate for a win, having played some super footy against great teams that haven't got the results. So it's a, going to be a super challenge, but one that we're, we're looking forward to. Has Ken given you any... Or extra sense of ownership of um, oh, look, a little bit. Um, Ken's played a small part in that. He sent me a text um, not long after he got the news from the doctor that um, you know that he was not going to be able to coach and not be able to fly on the weekend, basically saying that um, it's over to you, Richo. Five in a row, let's make it six. And then I can't say the rest of it. Basically, don't muck it up from there. So, um, now nah, look, um, he's been super. Um, we're understanding that um, this is about uh, a team that's, that's looking to improve every time we play. As I said, it's a, it's a great challenge against the Kangaroos who uh, have been in really good form without winning, so uh, looking forward to it. So you're on a bit of a hiding to nothing then, given the record? I know, look, yeah, I know what you mean from a personal perspective, but no, not really. It's um, uh, we're, we're heading somewhere as a, as a footy club and as a team, and this is just another great opportunity, so that's the way I feel about it. So how will Ken be communicating with um, the coaching staff and the players? No, not, not very often. Um, well, that's the plan at this stage. Um, I, could, I can't imagine how hard or frustrating it'll be for Ken sitting back just started uh, coaching your own footy team and uh, you're sitting on a couch and he's feeling 100%, he's home now. I spoke to him just before getting to the airport. So uh, if the game was played here in Adelaide today, he'd be coaching. So that, that's, that's frustrating for him. Um, that'll be a real, a real challenge. And I'm sure at times he'll, he'll want to make contact and will make contact. But um, certainly his message has been that it's over to you guys. Um, we've got a really experienced group with, with guys like Buddha Hocking and, and um, Wren. Nick's car, etc. So, you know, he's confident uh, and is trusting that he, yeah, the team's in pretty good hands. So, is it medical orders that he can't fly? Or? Yeah, that's my understanding that basically um, the inflammation, that, uh, the internal inflammation, which is gone now, he's, he's fine, but basically flying you know, wouldn't, wouldn't be good for him. I don't really understand it all, but that's, that's the message we've been given. Can you just Give clarify him. the rules surrounding the, the contact that Ken can have? Uh, is it phone contact to the box? Or? Uh, my understanding um, through Peter Road is that you can't have the phone down on the boundary line, you can't have the phone on the deck, but if it is that Ken wants to make contact uh, with someone either in the box um, or outside the box to be able to pass on, that's, that's OK. And we've spoken about that, Ken and I. He, he's hoping that, 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 that he doesn't do that, he, he's, but, but uh, he's the boss, and uh, if that comes through, then um, I'm pretty sure I'll take the call. <laughs> so you won't have like a, a, a mobile phone or even a Skype hookup? Just on the go? No, no, we won't. No, no, look, um, as I said, Peter Road will be in the box. Um, he'll have his phone on, but um, we, we think that that's very unlikely. Alan, given that you guys work so closely together, do you expect things will change much in terms of you know, changes you'd make during the game? Do you reckon what your calls will be pretty similar to Ken's? I would hope so. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's certainly we both started together. Um, uh, working with some really experienced guys, as I mentioned before, the assistant coaches. But no, we, we're very similar in terms of the way we, we see the game, in terms of the way we communicate with players. Um, we, we've been really deliberate with that to make sure that we're as consistent as we can be all the way through the program. And um, I'd be I'd be surprised or disappointed if it was that it wasn't similar messages, albeit coming out of a different mouth. What's the last time you were seeing your coach? Um, Coburg. That would have been. Uh, yeah. Coburg 2000 and 2002, I think, yeah. Well, you have to change was. much from what you normally do in the box yourself personally? Uh, my role in the box normally is um, is really a focus on the opposition. So Ken's really, his role is to is to uh, look at what we're doing and what we're not doing. And, and my role is to throw up what the opposition are doing to us defensively. Why, why are we not getting through from the back? Uh, what can we do about things at clearances, etc. And talk to the line coaches, making sure we're throwing up suggestions. So that won't change really. Gary Hocking will play a bit more of a role in terms of the way we're moving the footy and, and that's, a, that's a part of his charter anyway. But, um, so there'll be a, a slight adjustment, but there won't be much. You normally address the players a fair bit anyway, don't you? Certainly in the lead up uh, to the game I do, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, Bradley Gotts does our opposition in Melbourne, but then I transfer that to, to, to what we do at Alberton in terms of uh, the kangaroo strengths and weaknesses. You know, how can we uh, control and exploit? Um, so that's that's part of the role I play. Certainly these later meetings, though, the, the meeting that we'll have down in Tassie tonight and tomorrow, basically Ken will do. So that'll be the, that'll be really be the only change that I'll, I'll deliver 
those messages. Alan, have you been in front of the mirror last night just practicing the pre-match speech? Uh, no, I haven't started. No. What was your thinking around selection, the small for top? Sorry, the thinking around selection. Yep. Um, we we just think that. Um, Mitchell only went out of the team because he had to go out of the team. Uh, we, we think he gives us enormous run. Certainly early in the game against West Coast, we did struggle to, to, to get our game going on the back of, in our opinion, just run and giving uncontested mark options. Uh, that's taking a little bit away from West Coast. They were outstanding in the first half, but but we, we just think we are probably one runner short. So um, Jacko goes out. Of course, he'd play if, uh, if he was available. So. We'll just shuffle a little bit down back to make sure we, we get those matchups right, but then we think that Kane Mitchell can give us a significant run on the outside, basically. Will he be the sub again? Uh, no, he's more than likely to play. Yeah. Does the player change given uh, no Tringos and no Pitta down there? Yeah, some of the guys, um, you know, it may be that Campbell Heath, uh, Cam O'Shea, even, uh, even Jonas will have to play on, on taller players. Um, certainly Petri. Door and Black are, are big guys uh, and in pretty good form, so uh, they're quality players. We'll have to make sure that we get those matchups right, but it, it'll be an attitude of trying to get the ball to deck and then potentially, what is an advantage to them, uh, we'll make it potentially hope to make it a disadvantage when it hits the deck. Doors captured the imagination of the footy world. Have you put a fair bit of work into him, or is just another player? No, no, he's a, he's an exciting talent. He's an incredible athlete. Um, he normally he normally makes the most of his opportunities in front of goal. He didn't have a great one. I think he kicked three behinds with his set shots last week. Um, but yeah, no, he's certainly a guy that, that Matthew Nix, our back coach, has spent a lot of time with his defenders, looking at uh, one that we'll have to keep under control. And the height discrepancies, you know, in their forward line, your defence, and slightly smaller ground, does it increase the? Uh, I mean, does, does clearance become more uh, important? Yeah, well, forget about the forward line. Their, their clearance work has been outstanding. Ours hasn't been as good. Uh, it's been a focus, uh, irrespective of the opposition, to make sure we improve in there. Uh, but they're plus 10, uh, and when you consider they've played the last four premiership teams, um, that's outstanding in terms of their work inside. Uh, Swallow, Zeebel ha have been fantastic, and, and Goldstein's ability to give first hands is, has been really impressive. So we're going to have to be at our best to make sure we're competitive in there. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks,